dame nor a lady Not in the way she walks, the way she talks Or the way she loves me Just look at me I'm like a monkey in a coconut tree You know I'm overjoyed This boy, oh boy, she's my cat morning lovers welcome back to my channel to a brand new renovation vlog <sighs> not gonna lie I am struggling I'm a bit tired um, sick of the dust again but I just know it's all gonna be worth it that's the thing it's like I was saying how I'm fed up in the moment but I'm also excited because I know what's about to come. So it's one of them, it's really hard work. And obviously we're really lucky to be in this situation in the first place, being able to do all of this. So yeah, gratitude is everything, isn't it guys? Positive mental attitudes. Do you know what? I've just made probably my first iced coffee or have I done one this year at all? I might have already done one, I can't quite remember, but it feels like it's the first iced coffee. Oh my God, amazing, that tastes so good. Oh, and I'm sorry about the noise in the background. We're in the utility room, obviously. And this might as well be my everything room. Literally, it might as well bring my bed down here and sleep because guys, we're showering in the dog wash here. <laughs> Behind you, where the window is, we've actually had to put a double up a curtain, a uh, curtain, a shower curtain. Um, yeah and this is the room that we're doing everything in at the moment the washing the drying the showering the brushing of the teeth the sun is shining i've got an iced latte in hand and life is good <clears throat> i love a monday because especially in a renovation a lot of our renovation work gets done on a weekend so Come Monday, I'm just really happy to have a little bit of a rest. I'm not gonna lie, like everyone goes back to work, etc. And I can just take a breather for myself. Today, I wanted to just take the day to myself, to be honest with you. And yeah, the sun's shining. I'm feeling like I'm being called to nature. I just wanna soak up nature. And I thought, oh, we haven't been to a few spots, beauty spots that I love around this area for a while because of the weather. And so, yeah, I was like, Ralphie, shall we go such and such place? And he knows where he's going. Um, and then I got him all dressed, caught on lead, everything. We get to the garden gate, excuse me. And then I remembered I had to wait in for a delivery today. <laughs> And I was like, really? It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day and I can't stop myself from smiling. If you're drinking, then I'm buying. <laughs> so instead, I might sit outside this afternoon. I'm just gonna have a relaxing day. I say relaxing, there's not gonna be much going on today. I'm gonna get through all my admin, all my emails. I'm gonna get on top of the house because obviously it's been chaotic over the weekend. And yeah, start as we mean to go on in this vlog. <laughs> I told you, life is chaotic. What are you unboxing here then? Oh, the radiator. Yeah. I love this radiator. You haven't seen it yet? No, I haven't seen it out the box. I might but hate it. True, I might hate it. So come on then. Okay, Don't leave me in suspense. <laughs> Don't call me hater. <laughs> Haters gonna hate. <laughs> Mr. Motivator here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh! That's quite substantial, isn't it? Yeah. Is it heavy though? Yes. Well, the way well, you're flinging it, flailing it about, <laughs> the way you're flailing it about makes it look really light. Yeah, it's quite, it's nice, quite nice, isn't it? It'll look good in there. 
Yeah, heated well. Towel, yeah? It's some heated as well. Heated. Yeah, and then the fact that them hooks are going to go underneath that, where that will be heated. Yes, please. What for this? Yeah. Fabulous. I'm, I'm, the reason I'm getting it out like this is so I can get my first fix pants in. Yeah. What's this? That's for a shower. Oh, that looks very complicated. Mm. Goodbye. <laughs> Give me a roll puck. Goodbye. Give me a roll puck. Give your system lever. So it must be this then? Um, no, it's a bracket for the shower. They'll be on shore. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. They're quite, looks, it looks quite industrial-esque. It needs some uh, PTFE tape on, yeah? No. Come again? Some tape, just to make sure it doesn't leak. But I'm just putting them in. In place. In loose. So we'll decide what heart we want it. Yes. And, uh, well, up on the wall. As high as possible, but enough so I can reach. You always put stuff like mirrors for your height. Well, not everybody's as tall as you. It's quite warm, isn't it? I think they said it was 12 degrees today all of a sudden. Yeah, central. Central wall. Yeah. Thing, can I just come in and see if I can reach yeah, the well, top well. shelf because I want to be stacking towels on the top you shelf. Can fall on the floor. I can reach there. Yeah. Wonderful husband. Well, that'll be all right. Yeah, that'll be absolutely fine. And I'll have to bring my pants up the wall. Yeah. And then they'll fit. And the pipes will be hidden in the wall. Yeah, the pipes, obviously the only bit you'll see is a bit there, going into fit. Oh. No, it's only out of the wall. Well, that's clever, isn't it? Needed to cool down, didn't you? Yeah. yeah, well, all that work's keeping you warm as well. Mm. Hi, Ralph. <laughs> oh, Ralphie, Rome. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Big hair, don't care. <laughs> this morning, I've gotten ready with a little extra pizzazz. I've had to clip that little tiny fringe back so my hair it won't be staying like this but basically today I'm just busy with other things other than the renovation but yeah today I have to shoot a brand deal and it's incorporated within a Primark haul so that's what I'm doing today nothing to do with the renovation really obviously that will be a separate video will you have seen that video you would have possibly seen that video before this vlog that's if I can get it approved in time anyway let's not chat and confuse ourselves with the logistics because it's easy to confuse me at the moment I'm here in the utility room are you on the one <laughs> um, I'm here in the utility room because we're living in this room at the minute you know we've ripped out the bathroom upstairs i've got an update actually i'll do that before i get on with the day and then i won't forget later and show you what's gone on in the bathroom so we've got some progress so obviously we ripped out the bathroom you're all up to date there and we've no shower <laughs> luckily we have the powder room downstairs so we do have a nice little toilet to go to but the shower situation guys I'm having to shower here in the dog wash, both of us. <laughs> it's really funny. We've had to put a shower curtain up 
here at the window in the utility room, obviously for obvious reasons, because we've got them like linen tile boils, cafe rod, haven't we up in here in the utility room. So we've had to like put a shower curtain up temporary. It's just hung. And this is life for us at the moment. And I'm literally standing in the dog wash, having a shower in the dog wash. <laughs> and I just wanted to let you know that. So yeah, I'm down here because I have my little clothes steamer down here. So this is the Pro Press, Pro Press Mini, get my teeth in. And this is where I do the, well, if I had an ironing board and an iron, this is where I do the ironing. So I use a steamer. Now these are brilliant. Like I said, you don't need an ironing board and an iron and all that jazz just brilliant and i hang my clothes up here in the boot room and steam what i need to steam if you've got shirts however or anything that really needs to be pressed obviously this is not going to do it so i actually do need to invest in a little travel iron because the amount of times i actually use an iron is not worth having an iron and an ironing board i've got so many clothes to be steaming today so yeah let's get on with that and then we can get on with filming for the day some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be everyone hilarious i've just finished filming the first outfit for a brand deal which is swimwear mind so i've got the first outfit on here i'm in full swimwear attire hubby's just come home for lunch <laughs> okay everybody friday haul you know how it goes on this channel. I did not film in Aldi. We went to Aldi. I didn't film in Aldi. It was so busy. And then I just remembered it's bank holiday weekend, isn't it? So that's probably why. Anyway, I've got some bits for the weekend. I got some skin on fries because we're doing dirty burgers this evening for me and hubby. I've got some of these everything seasoning ultimate sliced burger buns. And they've got these little like seeds on them. I've got a malted bloomer, nice big loaf, fresh loaf. I just love these. They do them in Lidl as well and different like different ones. You know, like they do a tiger bread one, which I absolutely love tiger bread. In fact, I love tiger bread with lasagna. We've not done the lasagna for ages. Maybe we should. I got some Lincolnshire pork sausages. I just love the sage and pork together. I just think it pairs really well. And yeah, they're my favourite sausages. Ash likes these and Cumberlands. And I do mix them up just to switch things out a little bit. But my favourite are these Lincolnshire sausages. So therefore, Saturday's brunch. Watercress spinach and rocket. Is this strong? Yes, it says it right there in massive writing three times. Susie, you definitely need glasses. I did notice in Aldi as well, though, that all of the, like, salad stuff, the dates are very, like, short on them, which I don't like. I got some hot pepperoni because we're going to set up in a minute before Joelle gets home, and we're going to set up to make some pizzas this afternoon, so we'll do that after we have done this little haul here. The hot pepperoni is for her because she does like pepperoni pizza. And so yeah, I got her some of these to put on her homemade pizzas. We've never made pizzas before, like I am so excited. They don't do the big Italian Sicilian lemons in Aldi, unfortunately. They just have these bananas. I love bananas. <laughs> I just, we just love bananas. I got some Wagyu quarter pounders. And this is another reason why I like to go to Aldi because they do the beef Wagyu selection and yeah it is so much better you guys you need to try it so there's four burgers in there and I think that were like five pounds or something like that which is pretty good isn't it think about it per burger free range eggs all of the eggs 
like I said, I need some chickens because the amount of eggs we go through, in fact, I'd need a lot of chickens for how many eggs we go through. I got some lazy garlic puree. I just like to have this in the house. I do like to make a garlic mayo with cracked black pepper and then we'll dip these like skin on fries in them. So that'll be for the burger tonight. I also picked up some tomato puree. So I'm not sure whether you meant to use this for homemade pizzas or passata, you know, like the more liquidy version. But I thought, I'm sure I've had a pizza or a flatbread with this stuff on it. And I prefer this out of the two. So yeah, I got some tomato puree. That is for the homemade pizzas. I also got some balsamic vinegar because I've been meaning to grab some of this actually. This is an Italian bottle, it's really affordable. It's massive as well. Look at the size of it next to them bottles of wine. It's quite big. <laughs> and we do have a lot of salads this time of year and I just love the Italian Caesar salads. And I was saying the other day, like this salad would be amazing with some balsamic vinegar on. And also we could possibly use that for the pizzas today. So that's really good. I got a couple of bottles of wine. Um, just because it's bank holiday, I'm going to have a glass with Joelle this afternoon. Obviously, we're not going out anywhere today. We're making homemade pizzas here at the house. So, yeah, we'll have a nice glass of wine. It was meant to be really sunny today, and it's it's just not. <laughs> so, it would have been better if we'd have planned all this and it was sunny. But um, you can't control the weather, can you? I've got some Malbec Rosé. I think I've had this bottle before. I feel like... Aldi do better wines, rosé wines anyway, than Lidl, but Sainsbury's does the best selection, I think, of wines and drinks. But I think I've had this before, not sure. Ashley will know, he doesn't forget things like that. Definitely had this one before, this one's really nice if you're interested. They sell it in Aldi and they're about six pounds, something like that, six or seven pounds each, these bottles, but they're really nice. And again, like I said, I always get the pale blush rosé. If it's darker than that, it's headache tackle. Right then, let's pop all this away and clean up and get ready to make pizzas here on the island this afternoon when Joelle arrives. <laughs> Oh, Joelle, I've got a story to tell you that happened in Sainsbury's yesterday. I'll tell you in a minute. This was in the frozen section. Well, anyway, it comes like this. And I've followed the instructions of defrosting. And yeah, um, apparently it makes two times 12 pizzas per pack. So 12 inch. I'm going to have to get... Is that a big pizza, 12 inch? Yeah, normal size pizza, yeah. So shall we do small ones? Gas mark nine, up to 240 degrees. 240? Mine only goes up to 220. Crank up the oven to 240 degrees. Is that in degrees, Joelle? <laughs> <laughs> it only goes up to 220. Why is that always two? So, well, I think about the wood fired pizzas, they're like flame, flames. Yeah. So it must be really high. Yeah. yeah. So let's do that then. And then it says flour the work surface. Dust a work surface, rolling pin, and baking tray with flour. Yeah, right. so you have to so, dust this as well. Yeah. So we'll not get the dough out because it'll stick yeah. unless we've got like. I mean, does it, it doesn't say what kind of flour, does it? 
<laughs> yeah, we'll just be playing flower. Right then. We're just gonna have self raising and your pizzas will be everywhere. Ta-da! 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 You look the part. I need an apron now as well. No, 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 no. no. You look good in the apron. <laughs> oh, now the boobies are in. Go <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> When it rains, I've got to jump on it, just falls on the boobies, and that's it. I'm too <laughs> sick. I'm so embarrassing. How funny. You just nearly stabbed me. I'm doing that. Sorry. My good God, did I ever teach you how to hold scissors? Hello. I did teach her to hold scissors correctly. Yeah. I'm not doing it for you. We're a big girl now. <laughs> Stretch and roll. Stretch! Why am I shouting? Stretch! Stretch! Stretch it! Stretch it! What a beauty teacher. Oh god, they were the worst. Stretch it! And all they could never stretch or run. That was the worst thing. They'd always be like running and you're freezing and they've got like flasks and cups. Oh my god, we had one like that. She was, she was actually a temporary teacher and she was called Mrs. May and she was like, I'm sorry, but she was really gonna watch this. Mrs. May. I don't think Mrs. May's gonna be watching this, but she were really roly poly. She was a roly poly person. You know and they're I mean? always PE teachers and I think and what yeah. the hell? Well, obviously we were teenagers, so we were sassy, you know. She was so horrible. I feel she, like they got bullied in school, it, so they yeah. need to do it back. Do you know what? Like it, she'd wait until it was absolutely freezing and raining. And then you're talking winter. You're talking where you're like purple. Yeah, yeah. Your, your legs have gone numb. The skin yeah. on your legs are numb. That's and she'd make like us run as well. Cross country run. And you'd think, oh, I hate you. I hate and you. Like this as well. Yeah, when it's hot. Yeah. Why does my look like that? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? It's just going back to the it's same it. <laughs> The dull eyes. <laughs> Why are you? Why is it not stretching? These are going to be shit peaks. <laughs> What's going on? Why is it when me and you try and bake or anything, or anything <laughs> together, it just doesn't go well? I mean, everyone's probably screaming at the TV right yeah. now. Don't wrong. Saying you've done it wrong. But it says dust it with flour. So I don't know what it's on about. <laughs> it might be because you're supposed to use a sieve as well, do you know, so it's equally. Fine, I'm well. just gonna stretch it out. Yeah. How the hell? Thought. Stretch it. I do too. Ooh, I've written. <laughs> These are better. I... <laughs> That's good, Joelle. Having a tomato base, or are you having a boysen base? One at a time. Do you know what I'm gonna do? What? Stuffed crust. Oh, yeah. Are you really? <laughs> I look so smug in the whole camera then. Garlic. Yeah. Garlic and a bit of bossing. Do you think that's a little bit ambitious for the first floor? No. Okay. How hard can it be? You just fold around the post. How hard can it be? <laughs> I thought that the door wasn't going to be. <laughs> exactly. Right, I've got us a glass of wine. Yeah. We can't do Friday. Friday pizzas without some wine, can we? Yes, we're rosy. Yes, way rosy. I nearly got us some beers because I thought beer and pizza. But then I thought, Joelle, I, I thought beer is only nice on a nice day. I don't know what it is. It fits with the sun for some reason to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, isn't it, to sip on a nice glass of wine? Waking up to a brand new day in between your sheets. Breaking up. In the best of ways And I'm back again on the street Look at Joelle's pizza It's amazing This is the first time I mean, what That's shape so is that? It's uh, the shape of Italy <laughs> <laughs> Is it the shape of Italy? I might no, just put like I will put a picture of Italy on the screen so that you can see oh, the shame. difference. <laughs> <laughs> She's done a stuffed crust, everybody. Bit bit ambitious, I say. Um for first time pizzas, but do you know what? Now looking at it, I think that's gonna be absolutely beautiful. I do. Looks good as well. And if anything, if the the crust comes open in the oven, it'll be like rustic, won't it? Yeah. 
And then this one's mine. So I got more of a circular shape. Got the perfect shape. <laughs> I got the perfect shape. I think I've overdone it, you know, with the tomato puree. There's a lot of tomato puree on there. I've gone for stuffed crust, inspired by Joelle here. She made me feel like I could do it, so I did. <laughs> and what's in mine? Garlic and, I've actually got a garlic stuffed crust, garlic yeah. and some bosun cream cheese. Cream cheese, spinach, and same as you really, minus the pepperonis. So we're gonna do eight to 10 minutes, I think, each on these pizzas. Yeah. You don't want it to burn, do we? No. So, beautiful work. <laughs> so what time is it? Ooh. Ooh, that's good. looking good. Does it not need a bit longer? Are, we, are you happy? What do you think? I do don't know. Does? It just looks a bit longer, I'd say. A couple of minutes. Couple minutes, yeah. I reckon. A world more exciting than mine. It's holding up a great big welcome inside. Life is for living. Let's see where the all my lion this morning i say lion we slept in till half past eight rock and roll <laughs> our bodies automatically wake us up early that's why so half eight is a lion to us and oh i feel so rested i really needed that still really foggy in the mind i don't know what that is you'll have to ignore this silly fringe yeah still really foggy in the head but that might be down to the glasses of wine I enjoyed yesterday. So we had a couple of glasses with Joelle yesterday, as you all saw, we made pizzas, making pizzas and memories. And yeah, I just love spending time with her, obviously. And it was a really nice day. We had a really nice catch up. By the way, them pizzas, so filling. And we reduced them in size, didn't we? From what it said on the, the packet. Yeah, they were so good. They were bloody brilliant. We can't wait to make them again. Next time we're gonna do like a white sauce base. I found it on Pinterest, this recipe. White sauce base, probably do some garlic in there because you know we like garlic in this house. <laughs> and um, chicken, chicken and white sauce, some sort of, and yeah, we both fancy that. Probably do a garlic flatbread as well. So yeah, we're gonna definitely do those again. I was so full, hubby came home from work and obviously was meant to make burgers and fries for dinner last night. I made him burgers and fries for dinner, obviously. Um, but I was, wasn't hungry for it. However, I did finish the bottle of wine later in the evening and made some fries because there's just no better combination than a glass of wine and some freaks. <laughs> I just love it. Give me a glass of wine and some chips and you've got yourself a happy wife. <laughs> yeah, so uh, a little bit foggy in the mind this morning. It's one of them really overcast days again, which is really unusual because normally on a bank holiday in the UK, it's like someone switches on the weather, isn't it? Like it automatically gets sunny out for the bank holiday normally. I say normally because it's just not great today. Overcast, don't know if it's gonna rain or not. Did yesterday. We were meant to like do pizzas and wine and sit outside and all that. It would have been lovely, but uh, we had to stay in because like I said, it's raining. And why am I banging on about the weather? <laughs> Ooh, Clarkson's Farm season three came out. I think it came out yesterday. Not quite sure. Um, so excited for that, but we've already started re-watching it from the start. So we're on like season one of a rewatch good few episodes in now but we're gonna get up to season three soon so no spoilers please but oh it's so good isn't it <laughs> clarkson's farm i love it like i follow them all on social media and everything it's just brilliant ash is working super hard as usual upstairs i will give you some updates 
after brunch. We've just put some sausages in the oven, as you saw, so we're gonna do our usual Saturday brunch. It's just me and Ash today. Mark, our plasterer, he does have the bathroom to do tomorrow. So he's coming tomorrow on Sunday because he's at a football match today or something like that. So we thought we'd give him the day off. <laughs> yeah, he's coming tomorrow and hopefully that's the last room. So yeah, we're gonna do some brunch and then I will give you guys the renovation updates. Okay everyone, quick update in this side of the house before hubby gets back to work. This is the office which has now become a storeroom again. <laughs> Gorgeous new fireplace ready to go into our dressing room we still need to work on that today in fact we might be working on that today a little bit anyway joelle's room all plastered two coats of white has gone on so it's still a little bit patchy in places it needs one more coat of paint and then all the eggshell needs doing today so looks like we're getting the paint out again today and I'll be joining Ash this afternoon, painting the skirting boards. Also, we've ordered the ceiling rows. That's gonna come in the next few days. Ready to go up in here, and then the light fitting can go up, but um, it'll be a few days, and that gives us time to finish off the painting and get the room prepped. And sockets on, because they're not on yet. Let's look inside. These are where the sockets are going to go. So yeah, we have decided to put a double bed here on this wall with two bedside tables at either side and the fireplace will go there in the middle of the wall here next to the window it's gonna look so lovely in here yes he has put the ceiling rails up so there you go everybody room still needs eggshell paint along the skirting boards and then the light can go in I think we're ready then to start work on the fireplace. Oh, damn it. I forgot to show you the bathroom. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> this has had the most progress as well. So here we are. It's a little bit. Oh, can you do lights in here? Let me see. Let me see. Yay. And then there was light. Plasterboard in has all been done, as you can see. Apart from on this wall and this wall, because we need to work out, I think, anyway, if I've got this right, the bath and shower before we can do anything else. I can't remember the order of things, but there's a reason why. There's no plasterboard there yet. All of this is going to be tiled on the top of plasterboard, and Mark will be coming tomorrow and then half and half on the other side. So just normal wall. And then we're gonna be, where well, you can see, Ash has to draw things out for me on the wall. <laughs> so we were working out how high we want the tile to come up because we we're doing half and half of this side of the bathroom. So we've gone for about here, which is higher than normal height. But again, this is not a normal height room. It's got you know the high ceiling so i don't want it to look out of proportion or that just height getting lost up there so we've come a little bit higher to scale yeah we've actually ordered the mirror i showed you when we were doing the plans the mirror i wanted it's actually massive and we were working out how low we want the mirror to come and then the size of the mirror and how high it'll go up in fact it'll go up really high it's obviously got an arch on it ash has just drawn a rectangle for some reason um <clears throat> and i've told him you'll have to use the top cupboards because it goes higher than that and I can't even reach up there. So the top shelves in, in that cupboard cabinetry, he's going to have to use and I'll use the bottom ones. But um, he always puts up mirrors and things like for his height and he's really tall and like I'm really short. They need to be like this height, you know. So we've had to, excuse me, work that out. Could not tell you what that is. Oh, nails, obviously nails. I have no idea what that, that, that is doing. Maybe Ash needs his own channel to show you what tools he's using, etc. 
pipe work has been installed ready for the radiator so the radiator will be there on the wall and it's like a shelf style heated radiator so i can stack my towels up there and then those gorgeous hooks um are going to be sitting underneath here with our robes on there bath robes and then obviously you can see there where the towels are going to come up we've got two lines because we were tying which which line to come up to with the tiles. I can't remember which one they're gonna sit at now, but it'll all look in proportion. The bath is gonna go here. Obviously we've gone through that. And then we've got pipe work installed behind here, behind the wall. And our shower ready to be installed. So all the pipe work for the actual shower will be behind the wall. And I just love that look. I think it looks really expensive when you don't have the hanging thing, you know, the shower thing. So it's all hidden behind the wall. And then obviously at the top there, where you can see that little spout, the the shower head, that big giant shower head is just going to pop out and just hang over out of the wall, like floating out of the wall kind of a thing. So it's clever, isn't it? It's really clever. And then this bit here is the extra little shower head that you have. And again, that's gonna be behind the wall as well. It's just really clever. There's nobody does bathrooms like my husband does bathrooms. And also we have been talking about having some shower niches. You know where in the wall, the tiled wall, you have little shelves popped in, like made. Anyway, I can't, I can't explain it. Um, you probably know what I'm talking about. But yeah, we was like, shall we have some shower niches? And I think we're having two shower niches there above the bath just for extra storage to store some products whilst we're in the shower. And I really can't wait for this bathroom to be done, you guys. It's going to look so good. And I still need to choose a chandelier for in here but we've got plenty of time because as you can see there's still quite a bit to do in here yet but progress is progress everybody and then here we have some pipes this is for the sink this is where the sink's going to go and this is where the corner toilet is going to go also if you can see there on the floor hubby always always reinforces the floors because I know you guys said about the original floorboards in this house, but they're so awful. We can't do anything with them. Obviously, we would have done if they were in good condition. They were awful. So if you haven't seen that, you'll have to go right back way back when on the vlogs and watch. So we have reinforced the floorboards as best as possible. And then he's also popped in some... What's it called, Ash, this stuff? So he just calls it ply, but it's called ply board. And he's ply boarded it or plied it, ply lined it. ply lined it and screwed it in. Lots of screws. So it's solid as a rock ready for tiles to go on top of that. And honestly, it is so solid now. Like you couldn't walk in this room before without um, a floorboard moving, could you, Ash? And now it just feels so solid underfoot, mm -hmm. so solid crew. I wish you'd have seen his face then. Is there anything else, Ash, you'd like to point out in no. here that I've missed? I think that's it really, isn't it? Well, oh, actually, just tell us why why this hasn't been plasterboarded yet. I haven't decided if you want the niches, have you? Oh, right, yeah, the niches. I definitely want the niches. Uh, carry on what I'm doing. That's absolutely fine. Give us a kiss. Okay. I'm going to go and show everybody the tiles we've chosen for the bathroom floor. I'll join you soon for some painting, okay? Yep. Oh, hi, my baby. Did you enjoy your sausages this morning? Yeah? We're showing everybody on the vlogs all this stuff. Yes, there's a lot of stuff going on, isn't there, in the house? I love your house, Ralphie. So, I did do a poll on my Instagram with two tile options. I'm going to pop on the screen some marble tiles, which were an option, and then these ones here. We went for these ones here, even though, literally, the majority of the vote 
chosen the marble tiles and i agree they look absolutely beautiful in a bathroom they were in fact the most expensive now i'm just pointing that out they were the most expensive i just liked these ones more i'm sorry like i know it goes against everybody else's um choice but i just loved the antique look of these ones in the bathroom look how distressed they are so that looks like four tiles it's actually one tile the reason why i chose these were because like i said they just look really vintage and antique don't they that that's like a dark well it's like a sagey green color and it will look beautiful in with the colors imagine the brass fittings it's gonna have gold feet on the bath that sit on this floor and someone said in the comments actually and it stuck with me it it was giving i think somebody said it was giving french french Bronte, Brocante, or something like that. I had to Google it because I'd never heard that term before. And you know what I'm like? I love learning something new. And that's why I love you lot commenting because you really make me think of things and like thought provoking and you tell me things that I don't know already and it's just really nice. Anyway, I had to Google it, like I said, and it meant French, traditional French antique. And that is exactly the look I want for that room even though we've got the french vibe in this bathroom like if you get rid of all the french elements such as the lace curtains that i'm about to put up in there and all the little accessories that are going to be like french inspired if you get rid of all that you're left with the bones of the room so the floor and the suite and it just looks traditional so you could put like an english spin on it english country house spin on it or i think it looks quite edwardian as well if you wanted it to and yeah i think we've gone for the right choice of tile we will find out maybe i'll regret it a year down the line but i doubt it i think this looks quite traditional whereas i love marble it's just too modern it's too new and i understand that everyone was like oh it'll work better in the bathroom and i know that that's the done thing to have it all polished and clean looking and marble in a bathroom but I don't want that look. I want to move away from the mainstream of how you should do things in the bathroom and have a little bit of a different spin on it. So there you go. There are the tiles that we've ordered. Literally, this is real life. We've got a bathtub in the middle of the kitchen. It's so funny, isn't it? Um, I wanted to show you the feet for the bath, which, let me just get it out. I was really surprised at. Look at the size of those feet. So let's actually go and pop them on the top of the tile. And this is what the colour story will be in there. Do you see what I mean? Like, that looks so much better. And the bloody giant, the giant, them feet. I couldn't believe it when I brought them out the box. I just think they look so fancy schmancy, don't they? I'm gonna love this bathroom, honestly. Me and hubby, we were saying the other night, like, we're getting so excited about this bathroom now. And, um, oh, I do have another update, actually. Let me just carefully pop that back in the box. And then this, oh! This is a tile, so it's the Venice sample, off-white, and as you can see, it's quite long, elongated. It's a little bit like the tiles that are in the kitchen and here in the fireplace. You'll just have to ignore the dust in here. It's, there's no point cleaning it, trust me. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> and it's a bit like them, very irregular, very farmhousey. So this was from B&Q. And yeah, Hubby picked it up as an option but I did want something a little bit more rustic that gives that antique style effect. So we have on order a sample of, I'll pop it on the screen for you now, a sample of these ones come in and it's bank holiday. So I'm not sure if, when it's going to arrive because you know what the post is like on bank holidays. And yeah, so we've got this one for now to compare with. Definitely want the rustic one. So when it comes if it's as what it is on the picture, we'll be ordering the tiles for the bathroom and they're gonna be stacked up vertically like that in the bathroom. 
and I think it will elongate the heights of the ceilings again with it all being like vertical. <laughs> so tired the other day <laughs> I put the hot water on and I forgot to put the plug in and I tipped the off floor just straight down the sink straight down the drain <laughs> done for the day okay next job is washing and drying and folding because anything other than doing what I'm meant to be doing which is painting also this gorgeous gorgeous dressing gown from Primark that everybody's loving I was wearing it the other day making a spag ball and hubby went that is not a good idea to wear that is it when you are making a spaghetti bolognese and I went no it'll be fine sat down splodged a big splodge here on the front um so yeah i'm just checking it's come out and it's looking pretty good you guys it's come out top tip if you do get a stain on your beautiful clothes you must take it off immediately treat it and wash it as per instructions <laughs> really echoey in here isn't it for obvious reasons i'm here helping painting this afternoon hubby's done a lot of the painting himself but i'm here to do the eggshell on the skirting boards but first i'm just going to help him touch up also i reported for duty in these dungarees remember these dungarees i got from Polara. they're like a navy blue color Anyway, I thought they'll come in handy. We're always painting and renovating and they remind me of like painting dungarees, workwear. So yeah, I put these on, reported for duty. And Ash took one look at me and said, you look like Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> Who remembers that game? What a good game. If I could find a vintage Nintendo, you know the old school ones, I don't quite know what, what it was called, it wasn't the 64, it was way before that, but I used to love that, the little Mario game, listen, I could play that all day today, like I am so in that kind of a mood, <laughs> anyway, I must get on, this painting won't do itself. <laughs> Monday morning blues, I open my eyes. And I'm greeted by a cute little smile The world is new with you by my side Everything is beautiful Tuesday afternoon I'm calling you home I don't get kissed like that Normally you're sweet I'm a sweetheart so It's not being a sweetheart then Just to hear your voice on the phone I think of you And I'm not alone You are everything have a garlic chapati on the side, some chips, of course. I've got garlic rice and what, onion rice? Mm -hmm. And I have a lamb buna. 